Previously on Jade Empire. I warn you, this will lead in a dangerous direction for you and Dawnstar. I cannot condone it, but I have agreed to help, and I will. My final task was to direct you to the ruins. Now, I am no longer bound. And so I step away. I have no further part to play, and I am glad for it. Perhaps history will clear my doubts and show my time was worthwhile. I wish you luck. And if the pirates slate your throat and dump your body in the river, I'll bring you back to town for a nice burial. If they leave your body on land, you're out of luck. My name is Sky. It's good to see there's someone else in this place who can't stand these slaving dogs. You heard, Mistress Chia. I can't waste any more time here. Get that flyer finished now. Your son, Gao the Lesser, is dead. No! Young Gao was everything to me! Hey guys, uh, just want to talk for a bit. an explodey thing, but uh, kicking worked well too. Who are you? I am Kang, the man. I make things explode, and I make things fly, and I'm very good at both. The things I fly tend to survive. The things I explode, not so much. You build flyers? Do I build flyers? Do I build flyers? Uh, yes. Have you heard differently? Fantastical things, but misused by Gao and his cohorts. I have saved the best for myself. My greatest invention is in the launch room upstairs. Light and fast, she has weapons and capacity no other flyer does. The marvelous Dragonfly. You built Gao a special flyer. Under protest, Gao does not appreciate what I make. He misuses, and worse, he duplicates and diminishes their glory. Well, no more. The Dragonfly will not function. Gao wants to give my machine to the Lotus Assassins, but I stopped him. I hid the extraneous dust inductor where no one will find it. <laughs> Try to fly without that. But they can make a new inductor. It is extraneous after all. So, a few days ago, I blew up the inscrutable power source. Now the Dragonfly can only make short hops. Will you help me against Gao and the Lotus Assassins? Yes, yes, of course. What do you think I've been saying? You need to listen more carefully. If you stage a combat-related accident for Gao, like falling down a flight of punches, I'll replace the inductor on the dragonfly, and we can fly away. What do you say? I agree. I will see what I can do. You are sure to profit from this partnership. In fact, I've never accidentally exploded anyone traveling with me, <laughs> so that alone is a benefit of my presence. Anyway, you go ahead, and once all the kicking is done, I'll come along and we'll see what's what. Uh, for now, let me think. Uh, we'll need explosives that explode. Dire flame. Uh, cuts. Spirit thief. 
Booyah! Please, don't burn me! I'll do anything you want! I'm sure you will, child. But deep inside, you think you're not a slave. Only true pain will wash away these thoughts. You can have your slaves when they're broken. Not a moment before. You wandered into the wrong room, slave. Hey, I know you. Mother and I met you when we were trying to get out of Tien's Landing. Don't speak to her like that. I don't want to be a slave. I just want to get out of this place. This girl is not for sale. Utatsa ya okayowe ya fonia sisa ya trusta pafawe ya towia. Pawo ya stia wo sayer if a saya wa kawi shia. Wo ifo ya uksonko no go isansia. 
ko soa ia ia e tia. Si sau ka kawa ko iu. Uh oh. You tell him. Si sa ia aka wai o kupa ia wo. Tu ko utro. Utawa ia o papa wani a son sa ia. O uno so sonsi. Sata kawa ia so nui ia kawa ia pai ia nasi sunkut. Oh, 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 soon so anawa kawaras tata safaya. I'm glad you're safe, mother. Did you see Gao when he went by? There was fire in his eyes. There's always fire in his eyes. Dark magic burns inside him. Yeah, but this time it was worse. Better stay out of his way for the next little while. Something really set him off. Wait a minute. You there! Who are you? You can't be up here! Thousand cuts! Don't start. I think. The Marvelous Dragonfly is the perfect name. I guess the weapons on that flyer were active. That's certainly one way to take care of a door. Let's do this. You dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions. You will pay for it. Wait. You are not one of my servants. I know you! You are one of Master Lee's students. You, you were the one who killed my son Gao. I didn't want to kill him. He left me no choice. Your words mean nothing. You are a murderer, a killer! Gao was everything to me, and now he's gone. Damn you, that school! My Gao was never good enough for Master Lee. You were always his prize, pupil. Now my son is... Dead. 
Gao may be gone, but I will avenge him. I know the styles your broken old master taught you, and I know how to beat them. I promise your death will be both slow and painful. A thousand cuts. Spirit thief. <laughs> Damn it all. 
I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die. He's dead. Why does it matter who killed him? It matters because he deserved to die by my hands. No, that's not right. I should be thanking you. Besides, after I left you, I stumbled across something just as important. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? I also saw you free some of them. True enough. I have a particular hatred for slavers. Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. Those black-hearted bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. I lost her mother when Pin Mei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation. Maybe you should take some time to mourn your daughter. It has been three years since I lost my daughter, and I have spent that time tracking down the men who took her. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater. His men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gao. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. Gao the Greater is providing them with flyers as well. Is that so? There can be no doubt, then. This goes beyond Gao the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. It will be good to have you along. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. What is it? Hey! That's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well, next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. In my mind, you stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together rather than apart. I don't know if I trust this man, but we can't afford to turn away potential allies, not with what lies ahead. Your companion's ability to judge character is matched only by her beauty. I may not be the most constant of men, but I am true. Whoa, stay away from her. But glad to have you aboard, Sky. I assure you, I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. Ha! If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying. Much. It really gets the blood flowing! And explosions! Lots of blood flowing from those two. I replace the dust inductor. The marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim for a short way. The heavens welcome my machines, but not without considerable cajoling. If you want to fly more than a short distance, I will need an inscrutable power source. I have an inscrutable power source. <laughs> what wonders cling to you, my friend. There were only two in this whole region, and I destroyed one so Inquisitor Lim would not make off with my marvelous dragonfly. The other was with the Lotus Assassins, but the fools only used it for demolition. Now, here you stand with it. I will put it in the dragonfly, and it will be ready to go. Hmm, not the ideal placement. If it shook more, the heavens might think we were afraid and take pity. This is more stable, but not as fun. Okay, she's ready to go. Hop on. I know a nice safe landing place just outside Tien's landing. Very unlikely we'll crash. Okay, let's get out of here.
Ha <laughs> ha! Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! seems nicer than the one we took from Gal the Lesser. Although, I'm really only judging by how shiny it is. A poor guess, I'm sure. No, no. The marvelous dragonfly is superior to the amber mosquitoes I foisted on Gal. And actually, the shinier the better. The heavens like their glory reflected. A shame I can't leave it on the ground for all to see, but I'm not going through all this just to have it stripped to the frame by local brats. I'll call it back if we need it. How do you control it from a distance? Well, it's much like the dilemma of the centipede. If he relaxes and lets things happen, he can walk naturally all day long, his hundred legs not missing a step. But if he thinks too hard about the complexity of what he's doing, those legs might crash into the tea house and kill everyone. A valuable lesson. Very well, enough of this. What do we do now? Is there anything you need? I'll do whatever I can to help. I'm interested in how you are, Dawnstar. Is there anything bothering you? I'm trying to feel good about what happened at Gao's fortress, the lair of his pirates. We went looking for our master and perhaps another flyer. What we found, I was not prepared for how cruel people could be. Seeing those people with no control over their fates, it is similar to a pain in my past that I have not thought about for a long time. I've always been interested in you. Tell me what you remember. I would not dream of saying my experience is similar to those poor people in Gao's fortress. But that lack of control, I know that well. One of the only things I know about myself is that on the morning I was born, the sky was red, like distant mountains were on fire. Perhaps it was dirge burning, as Zhu said. I believe it was an ill omen, and that stigma is why my abilities became a burden. That's why I must have been left at the school. To be subject to the whims of someone else just because of what you are, be you slave or outsider. Yes, I know that well. You stand out. I prefer that. I know the feeling. Yes, you are an outsider too, albeit one with power to change your world. I think the slaves in the pirate layer would greatly appreciate your skill in defense. And I would make great use of your confidence. 
You inspire me to think of the possibilities, not just the problems. I'm gaining an appreciation for the person you are becoming. Perhaps we should speak on these matters again sometime. Be well, my friend. On the next episode of Jade Empire. I am Lord Yun, owner of this land. The trees blacken with disease and ghosts flock to this place like no other in the Empire. They're related to a fox called the Forest Shadow. Okay.